Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, hello, my name is Megan. I typically do beauty and lifestyle related content. So thank you for coming to my video. If you are not new and you're returning, thank you guys so much for coming back to another video. I do truly appreciate each and every one of you guys and love you like family. Now today we are going to be doing part two to my Amazon purchases video. I really appreciate you guys actually hanging tight with this. I had filmed my video a couple of days ago and I didn't realize how long it was until I actually went to go edit it. So I am doing part two to this. I kind of paused it about halfway through and I'm not going to show you the rest of the products I have for you guys and stick tight for them because I do have some really bomb products that I purchased a couple of months ago, closer to the beginning of this year, as well as a couple of them from last year that I just threw in and sprinkled at the end. But they are some bomb products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I will also link everything down below for you. Now, before I get into the video, please do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up to like it. Also, if you do find yourself coming back to my channel quite frequently, go ahead and click that little subscribe button right there as well as a notification bell right next to it if you want to be notified of when I do upload my videos. And without further ado, guys, I'm really just going to jump into it. Okay, so the next product here is a nail glue from Kala. It's called the Kala Super Nail Glue Professional Nail Glue, I believe it's called. I got this mid-April. I am somebody who's had acrylic nails for years and years and years. I get my nails done all the time. Obviously, I don't have any right now. And I don't think that I will actually be going back to get getting my nails done because one, it's super expensive. The place that I go to is like $80, 80 to $100 every single time that I get my nails done. I'm bougie. I like to have all the glitz and the glam. I like to have the bling on them. I like to get designs, all of that. So it costs me a lot of money. I tend to get a good four to five weeks out of every nail set, but I don't want to spend $100. Honestly, I just got a breast augmentation. You know, I need to save a little bit of money. So I'm doing the best that I can to cut down on unnecessary things. Like I'm not getting eyelash extensions anymore. I'm not doing acrylic nails anymore. I just want to do the nails at home. So I bought a kit of nails a couple of years ago and I still have them laying around my house. And I purchased this glue a couple of years ago as well. And it is fantastic. It holds the actual press on nails onto your nails for weeks and weeks and weeks. There was a point a couple of years ago where I had press on nails. I think they were pre-made from like Kiss or from, I don't know, Press On Nail Factory. I am not I don't know the name of the brands, but I use this glue as opposed to the glue that comes in the pack of the Press On Nails and they stayed on my finger for a month. I literally had to soak the Press Ons off. That's how strong this nail glue is. It comes in a pack of four. I will say, make sure that you only use one at a time because once you open them up, the glue does tend to dry out within a couple of months, but it works really well. I highly recommend it. I think that if you're somebody like me who's like kind of went through this quarantine, you had professional nails done before and you like them, but it was, I gotta tell you guys, it was a pain in the rear end to get my acrylic nails off because it got to the point where obviously we were in quarantine for a couple of months. I just couldn't stand the look of the acrylics coming off. So I just had to soak them off, but it took me hours to soak my nails off. And with press-ons, it doesn't take that long. It normally takes about 10 to 15 minutes to pop them off. You're good to go. So that is definitely what I will be doing in the future. Um, the next thing here is a desk drawer organizer from the brand Membe. Okay, where do I begin? A couple of months ago, I clearly I ordered this on April 11th. I was in this phase where I was home all day, I wasn't working, I wanted to really do this YouTube thing. So I wanted to get really organized with my makeup and I wanted to ensure that every single video that I was going to film, I was going to go through every one of my drawers, put the products in that I was gonna use for the video and then put them away at the end of the video. And I was just gonna be super organized. So I figured I would get little inserts to my drawers to keep everything in and one that I could actually go around and just use, put it on my desk so that way my desk didn't get cluttered. And it worked for about a day. <laughs> um, I'm just messy, I'm, an organ I'm not an organized individual. I've never had the organization gene built into me. I'm not somebody that can just like organize things. My desk is currently a mess. It will always be a mess. I have no need for these drawer organizers, but if you are somebody who needs to have drawer organizers for makeup or for pencils or for whatever you need them for, this is a good option. It comes in a pretty big pack of them and they believe they actually shipped pretty quickly. I believe I ordered it on like a Tuesday and it is expected to deliver within three days and it came the next day. It works, they are acrylic drawer holders. Oh, I can actually show you guys because I have one right here. So this was this is a little guy that came in it. They're not as deep as I thought that they would be, um, but, and I don't obviously have drawers in my room. I just have kind of tabletops to put things on. This one just had a pack of three, but it also came in a pack of three of the bigger size. They work really well. If you need some desk organizers, I do 
recommend them. They work for what they need. I just don't get used out of them. All right, what's next, what's next? Okay, um, I also looks like, it looks like I also ordered some Ardell Dummy Wispies in here. I tend to just pick these up on Amazon as opposed to picking them up at Ulta or at the drugstore because they're more affordable on Amazon. Ooh, the next thing that I have is a Cam Kicks camera shutter remote. I got so much use out of this when I first picked this product up. I have not been that active on Instagram recently just because of my breast augmentation and I just, I really haven't been active on my socials. I really need to get better about it. But I picked this up at the beginning of the quarantine period because I was like, girl, I'm gonna do really good on YouTube. I'm gonna go on Instagram and I'm gonna start posting pictures every single day. But what I realized very rapidly is that people don't want to see selfies every single day where you have your arms extended out and just taking pictures like this. And I absolutely hate having to like position my phone up somewhere and then walk away and then click it and then like do the timer thing. I don't like the timer thing. I feel like it's less natural. I saw a bunch of YouTubers and a bunch of influencers use this little remote. And all you do is you, it's it's Bluetooth. You just connect it to the Bluetooth on your phone. You position your phone wherever you need to go. You can get multiple shoots with it. So that way you can go get boom, boom, boom. You, know, you can take multiple pictures. You go up, you see how it is. It works. That way you're not having to use an actual timer on your phone to get one picture every three to 10 seconds. You can take a hundred pictures in the span at the same time. It would take you like two pictures to take with a timer. It's gonna be a long video. Whew. I ordered a lot more stuff than I thought I had. The next is from NADS. It's their facial wax strips. I don't do my eyebrows at a professional place. Obviously, I'm sure that you can tell because I have not done my eyebrows in a couple of months, but I do them at home. I thought I was ordering the Sally Hansen wax strips. These wax strips were fine. They get, got the job done. The one thing I don't like about them though is you cannot see through the actual strip itself, and it's very helpful when you're doing your eyebrows at home that you have a strip of um, wax that is in a container that is see-through. So that way when you hold the wax strip up, you can see where you're tracing because you can see through the product. So when you're cutting it, you can you can see what you're looking to, to rip off. And just, I don't know how to explain it. NADS wasn't, it wasn't that see-through. So I didn't get great results out of it. The wax was totally fine. It's not great, honestly. If you are somebody who's looking to do your eyebrows at home, maybe just pick up the Sally Hansen one. They work a lot better. Next is the EB Lashes Gel Remover for eyelash extensions. I do have a video about this as well. I know I'm gonna be referencing all of my videos in here, but I'll post it right up here for you guys about me removing my eyelash extensions at home. This was a fantastic product. It comes in a sensitive version as well as a regular version. If you have sensitive eyes, you don't necessarily need the sensitive version because I have very, very, very sensitive eyes and I got the regular version and it was totally fine. It worked so well. You put it on, I believe you leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you remove your lash extensions. They come off easy immediately. This product is almost as good as a professional eyelash remover. I don't see the point in going to an actual eyelash professional to get your eyelash extensions removed. If you just put it onto the edge of the lash and you do it the way that you're supposed to do it, you, it's it's super unnecessary to go spend $25, $30 to get your eyelash extensions removed. And if you don't know this, if you do have eyelash extensions, you do have to get your sets redone about once every three to four months, as opposed to getting a fill just because your eyelashes start to like fall out at different times. It's good just get a clean reset every once in a while, but they do charge you to remove your eyelash extensions before you get a whole new set, at least most places do. This product worked really well for me. I believe it was around $10. Um, I have a whole video about it. You can go to that video to watch it to see how well it works. The next product I have is an eyelash extension shampoo from Stacy Lash, I believe it's called. Yes, um, works really well when I did have eyelash extensions. I was so bad about washing my eyelashes themselves because I'm somebody I get in there and I just, I clean my lashes with my, with my actual cleanser itself. I go in with two different cleansers for my face and I just wasn't washing my eyelashes as well as I should have been because every time I was done washing them, I always had a little bit of makeup remover on there or a little bit of makeup left over, which doesn't do wonders for your eyelash extensions, to be honest. It actually makes your retention way worse than it should if you actually wash them properly. You can get an eyelash shampoo from pretty much any eyelash artist that you go to. And if they don't offer one for you, you might want to just consider going to a better place because they should have eyelash shampoo there. But it's a good option. It was affordable. It worked for me when I did have my eyelash extensions. I don't have them anymore, so I don't use it, but it is a good product. What's left, what's left? Ooh, okay. So the own vegan protein shake in the cold brew coffee flavor is phenomenal. When I, I actually had this on auto ship and I've ordered it a couple of times. I have since then just discontinued it because I've found a different protein that I use. But if you are somebody who like needs, who you go to work, you need something on the go and you need to get your protein intake up, 
I think this is a fantastic product. It is $30 to get the auto ship and you get 12 in every container. It's, this tastes so good, okay guys? I have a very sensitive stomach and a lot of protein shakes as well as just protein powders mess my stomach up to the point where I feel almost sick every time that I drink them. I currently am using the Lifetime brand vegan protein. Um, and this one is a vegan protein. It is also gluten-free, soy-free, tree nut-free, egg-free, allergy-free, vegetarian, the whole shebang. Every single one of these is 180 calories, 20 grams of protein, five grams of carbs, which are great macros. I gotta tell you guys that. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, they taste really good. I, again, I get a coffee flavor. I've also had the chocolate flavor. And the chocolate one sounds re tastes really good as well. I get a great amount of protein per little container and it's easier than having to carry around an actual shaker with you and then having to put your protein in, put your water in, put your milk in, put your ingredients in, whatever you want to do. This is not a protein powder. This is a pre-made protein shake. So please keep that in mind. I get this question a lot because I am super involved in fitness and something that it's, I've been always, I've been very passionate about. I I used to be certified in personal training. I am not interested in this whatsoever, but I will tell you, I do not find it to be necessary to incorporate supplements into your diet. You can get all your macros in with just eating the proper foods, but I don't eat enough. I'll be really honest. My calorie intake needs to be very, very, very high um, just for my body to be able to operate the way that it needs to. And I find that supplementing meals with shakes helps me out a lot. They're not necessary, but they do help a lot. Okay, just throwing that out there. The Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation with SPF 20 is absolutely great. I tend to go for drugstore products. I pick them up at Amazon because they are a little bit more affordable than if you were to go into an Ulta or to a Target. I don't know why that is. They just tend to be a little bit more um, affordable. It's a great foundation, fantastic for dry skin, for normal skin. Oily skin, you're probably not gonna love it, but um, I have had this in a couple of my videos prior to this, so if I can link it, I certainly will, but it's a good product. The next one is the Polish Choice Skin Recovery Cream. I mentioned this in my pandemic purchases as well. I did recently purchase it through the Polish Choice website itself because they were running a buy one, get one 50% off sale. Um, and I did run out of the product, but I do purchase this about once every three months. And normally I get it through Amazon again, because it does tend to be a little bit more affordable than going through the Polish Choice website itself. But the Polish Choice Skin Recovery um, Repair Line is fantastic. I've been using them for years. This cleanser is great if you have, again, normal to dry skin and you're looking for a good product to be a second cleanse. I do not recommend this as a first cleanser to remove your makeup, but it is fantastic as a second cleanse. It has never broken me out. It's great for people who have rosacea, eczema, all of that. It's just a good product overall to get all your product off your face, to cleanse it, to do what you need to do. Next is a 2020 desk calendar. I got this when I was still working my previous job, which was a desk job that I would sit down and I need to organize my schedules, obviously. As I told you before, I am not an organization type of person. I just never have been. So I like to keep a calendar in front of me. And I'm also not somebody who puts a lot of things in like an electronic calendar. I... I don't know why I'm old school. I like to have things on paper. It's a good product. It's a desk size product. So it's going to fit like it's massive, big calendar that you either hang up on your wall or you can keep it on your desk. I used it when I was a manager at Lifetime and I would use it for people's availability. So if I knew that somebody needed off, I always used to ask people for um, their schedule a month in advance. So if somebody needed a week off the second week of the month, I could just write their name on it um, every single day. So I knew when I was doing the schedule for the following month, not to actually schedule them during that time. Um, that's what I used it for, but it is a good quality product. I obviously am not using it anymore because I have no need for a desk calendar now that I'm not working a desk job. And the last product that I purchased, or the first product I should say that I purchased of 2020 was the Maybelline New York Dream Urban Cover Foundation. Love this foundation so much. It is so beautiful. If you have normal to dry skin, this is going to be a product that you absolutely will love. It should be in your routine. If you have sensitive skin though, and you are sensitive to SPF, I wouldn't recommend this because I didn't think that I was super sensitive to SPFs and I normally haven't really broken out from SPFs in the past, but I do get little tiny breakouts here and there when I use this foundation when it comes to that time of the month because my skin tends to be a little bit more sensitive during that time of the month. Any other time that I'm not around that time of the month though, um, this foundation works perfectly for me and it's never broken apart. It lasts all day. It smells fantastic and it just, it has a good glow to it without feeling oily. And again, because it's a drugstore product, I purchased it on Amazon as a opposed to going to the drugstore itself. Uh, I'm gonna go through a couple of other things that I think might be useful. Those are all the products that I have purchased in 2020 that I think have been fantastic, some that I didn't think were fantastic. I hope that you guys liked that. Let me, a couple of other things that I have purchased on Amazon in the past couple of years that I do think are useful and helpful just to end on a really positive note. One right here, it's called the Exmifer, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's an AirPods case. I do wear the Apple AirPods when I do workout or when I'm just going for a walk or whatever. They are 
absolutely fantastic. But I hate how dirty the case gets itself because it's not like dent proof or anything. It's just like everything else of Apple. If you drop it, it breaks. It always does. So I wanted to get a case for it to keep it protected from the environment and from me being me, <laughs> being clumsy. So I got this case and it's amazing. I've had it on there. It's super cute. It's It comes with like a little puffy ball at the end of it. So it's a little bit more fashionable. Um, I've dropped it a couple of times. The AirPods have not broken whatsoever and it is quite affordable. Um, what else? Oh, I bought these sunglasses. These sunglasses are great. I bought them back in August. This is from Sojo's, though the cat eye mirrored lens. These are great because they are mirrored. So when you look at somebody, you put them on, you look at them, they are, people can't see your eyes. I love them. They're fantastic. I have a lot of these that I've purchased on, um, I purchased either through Express, I'd get them at uh, Forever 21. They are super good quality. Obviously I don't take great care of my sunglasses because they are really scratched up at this point. I've had them for almost a year, uh, but they were really cheap. I believe that they were, they retail for $13.99, they're $14. They're very affordable as opposed to going and buying like Ray-Bans or Oakley's or whatever good quality products are nowadays. I don't know, I don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses. Um, they worked really well, they're great. I've had them for months and I use them nearly every single day. What else? Let's see guys, what else have I bought? I'm, I think that's kind of it guys. I mean, I'm going through here and a lot of things that I order on Amazon are just my normal repurchases. So I, I have reordered the Kodiak protein cakes, the actual mix itself from Amazon quite a few times. I order pretty much all of my drugstore makeup on here, the Revlon foundation, um, all of my lashes on here, my lash glue, other foundations on here. I have my collagen peptides are on here. I will link pretty much everything else in the description box below because Amazon is my absolute go-to for anything that I can purchase at Target or Walmart or the drugstore, but I don't wanna spend the drugstore price because even though drugstore is supposed to be affordable, they've been bumping up their prices a lot. And I feel like anything that I can get at the drugstore, I can always get for at least two to $3 less at Amazon. So if you're willing to wait, as opposed to going and buying it immediately in person, Amazon's always a place to go to. Okay guys, so I know that that was a very, very, very long extensive video. If you have made it all the way through, you the true MVP to be really honest because that was a long ass video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I am doing my best to get back on a set routine now that I am past the terrible phase of the post-surgery rest period. I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to get it up tonight. I will do my best to get it up then tomorrow if I can't get it up tonight. And then I will have another video later this week. Don't know what that video is gonna be because I didn't pre-film anything, but I will have another video later this week. And then I will pre-film for next week. I do start work next week again, like my actual full-time job because YouTube is not my full-time job quite yet. I would love it to be at some point, but right now it is not. So I will be posting two videos per week. I don't know what that's going to look like in terms of the schedule. I'm thinking it's either going to be a Monday and Thursday Thursday upload or a Tuesday and Friday upload. You guys let me know down below if you've made it this far. What do you think? Do you think it should be a Monday, Thursday or a Tuesday, Friday? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye guys.